arrived. I've been waiting for this. I'll just sign for it. Thank you. Very good. Cheers. Oh, it's my new exercise home gym. Oh, I can't wait to open it. Or maybe I'll just move it over there. heavy things with a lever. Oh, but what's a lever? Hmm? A lever is something that you pull down and it makes something work. A lever is like a handle that you can just pull that turns something on. A lever helps you open up a door. A lever is like a button. A handle that pulls things down and up. Something that you pull. Hmm, some good ideas there. But maybe the lever I'm thinking of is the lever that drives a forklift. A forklift can lift lots of things. Oh, hello. What have we got here? Instructions underneath, eh? Oh, and look, they sure are. Now I'm really going to have to lift this thing. Okay, here goes. Brute strength is not going to be enough. I'm going to have to start using my head. Oh, oh. Maybe that wasn't such a good idea. I think I need one of those levers after all. Some people do their best thinking on the toilet. Some people do it in the shower. But one of the places where I do my best thinking is... The seesaw. Now, if you've ever shared a seesaw with somebody who's bigger than you, you'll already know a bit about lifting heavy weights. Well, this is Hefty. And Hefty is a bit of a dumbbell. He's made up of lots of weights, and he weighs about the same amount as me. He's going to share the seesaw with me, but luckily I don't have to lift him. Oh no, with the magic of television, I just do this. Let's pump some iron! If you've ever come across this problem in the playground, you'll know that the answer is this. Get them to move closer to you and you'll find... That you can lift someone heavier than you. Oh, sorry, Hefty. Oh, Hefty will be okay. He's just gone to the dumbbell hospital. But I suspect it'll be quite a wait. While he's gone... I thought I'd use these weights here and conduct another experiment. First of all, I'll try pushing on the seesaw here. Okay. And then I'll try pushing here. Aha! It's as I suspected. I can lift the weights by pushing further away from them. The further away I am, the easier it is. I don't need as much oomph. And by oomph, I mean force. And we've discovered something else with this seesaw. This is a lever. The lever's a lot like the wheel. It's very, 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 very simple. And it's one of the most important things ever invented. Now the lever has two parts. Count them. Two parts. The first part is this. A long straight bit that doesn't bend. The other part is something for the long straight bit to pivot on or turn on. It's called a fulcrum. 
And although I don't know where the word came from, the word looks like that. And now you know that, you can do this in the classroom. And when your teacher asks you, what are you doing? You can say, I'm investigating how a lever and fulcrum work. One lever. One fulcrum. Because remember, I still have to lift the box to get the instructions from underneath it. So what I'll do is I'll put the fulcrum in nice and close to the box and put this end of the lever underneath the box and then with just a little bit of force, yes, I can lift the box. Woohoo! Remember when I tried to lift the box by pushing it? I didn't have enough oomph, enough force, but I only need a little bit of force on this end of the lever to lift the box into the air. Of course, this end of the lever here does have to move a long way just to get a little bit of movement with the box, but it's enough because here are the instructions. By the way, a pair of scissors are levers too with the fulcrum being this point here, where the blades pivot. And to get the best cut from your scissors, it's a good idea to put the paper closer to the fulcrum than your fingers. If I was to do a wee cut here like this, it works okay, but it would take forever to snip, 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 right the way to the other end of the envelope. Whereas if I push the paper right through to the fulcrum, it's much closer to my fingers and I get a clear cut like that. Now for the instructions. Thank you for buying the Acme Home Exercise Gym. You will need one lever and one fulcrum. Funny that. I have my fulcrum and I have my lever and it says insert the lever under the box and uh, lift the box up and down, up and down, up and down. Oh, work up a sweat doing this. Hmm. You will work up a sweat doing this. Congratulations. Keep doing this for half an hour every day and in a month's time you'll be as fit as a fiddle. So there's only a weight in this. I've been ripped off. So that's what a lever is. Something that's long and straight and it doesn't bend and it uses a fulcrum to lift things. And it can lift very heavy things. But one thing with a lever is that your end of the lever is going to move a lot further than the thing it's lifting. But that's okay, because you don't have to use much force. And there are levers everywhere, from a nutcracker you hold in your hand, to the huge arm at a railway crossing. Why don't you have a look around and see how many levers you can find, or do some experiments. Outside on that seesaw lever with a friend, or inside with a ruler and some erasers. Maybe you have some questions you'd like answered on Susie's World. You can write to us at Susie's World, P.O. Box 34307, Birkenhead, Auckland, or email me. My address is susie at treehut.com. Hey, well, thanks for joining me. It's time to get back to my exercises. Kaki te ano. Best thinking of the seesaw. Do I go running down there now? Oh. Thanks to New Zealand On Air, we couldn't have done it without you.